Here we are in beautiful sunny Poseville doing some concealed carry drills and um, it looks like God's about to spit his justice upon the southwest over here. I'm going to show you that this is about 10 position and get some shots on a piece of steel that's about 10 yard -ish, ish away and we're gonna go off slow real fast and see what we can't do uh, my time that I'm aiming for to do so accurately is sub second so anything that's under a single second at a random start delay so let's just get some rounds on target see how we do We're at 159, 159. Little mishap there. We're at 183, so that slows you down. Do it again, one more warm up. So we're seeing that I'm having a problem clearing out my shirt, so can't be doing that. I'm at 172. Now let's seem to pick it up, see what we can't do going faster. So here is our first time, which is 9-9, nine, nine, so sub-second, so that's good. I felt like, I don't know, I felt kind of sloppy. Um, still hit my target, hit, hit it clean, uh, but still want to get that good come out and shoot because it's not so much to, it's not good to train just going, oh, 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 it's going sub-second because when you go fast, you know, you have that bounce of your skeletal system working against your body and the gun comes back. So we want to try to punch that gun out or extend that gun out, however your terminology works, to get more shots on target. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Ah, we're not sub-second, but this is where I'd rather be. 1.06. I'd rather be at 1.06 and have my, ex uh, my body extended out, ready to take that shot if necessary. 